Oh, f- cramp. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> Jesus f***ing <laughs> Christ. Oh, God. What the f*** was that? This one got Charlie Horse by himself. Well, I know what the Holy intro for YouTube is going to be. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> What's up, Wikimaniacs? Welcome back to Reddit on Wiki, where we scour Reddit in search of some of the wildest stories the internet has to offer. My name is Josh Shell. Back at it again with my co-host, John Consignato and Sean Salvino. How's it going, boys? I'm Hi, awake hello. this episode. I was sleepy last time, but we started calling Josh racist and my blood started to boil. So no, no, it doesn't leak into the next episode. <laughs> I feel it stays in Monday much more alive <laughs> to call out. the uh, white. I mean, fair enough. It's deserved, I guess. <laughs> there were a lot of assholes on Monday's episode. So it was a, Including a little, Josh. <laughs> little war- <laughs> I didn't say that, uh, but, uh, to, uh, <laughs> no, no piss pump. Uh, damn. There was a lot of cheesy dust assholes in Monday's episode mm. too. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So check that one out if you haven't. What's up, boys? How's it going? Pretty Ringo's good. down here playing with her toy. Well, don't just say Ringo's down there. You got to show Ringo to the Wikimaniacs, Josh. Well, does Ringo want to be picked up? You got to ask uh, for consent. Ringo, hi, baby. Oh, my say God. Hi. She, she's so she's big She's looking now. more and more like an adult cat. No. Yeah, it makes me sad. Like she, her face is her face is growing into like her her big kitty eyes. You know what I mean? Wait, how old is she now, Josh? She is nine months, maybe. <gasps> oh my yeah. god, you're not gonna believe, but I guessed nine months in my head. I wish hey, I had said look it. Look at you! <laughs> look at you, good at math. Uh, I know. Uh, Kev, uh, Kevin turned six months today, and I like cried inside. I'm like, oh my goodness, how this old already? <laughs> I didn't think they were that close in age. Now I'm thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, maybe they are. I guess we got her, like, we took her home very, very young because she was a mm. barn cat, so. She was tiny. She yeah. was tiny. She was very tiny. We were looking at pictures yesterday, and it made me very sad. <laughs> well, now she's in a happy, healthy home. Yeah, she she abuses us. That's, that's how it works. And that's how pets should be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's move into some of the stories we've got for today. So... On today's episode, we have a first dance song that causes an argument. A sister wants to borrow a wedding dress, and Ringo is in the way of my script. Come on. Uh, A girlfriend doesn't react the way her boyfriend wants her to. A family scrapbook causes a fight. A husband wants to move, and a friend doesn't come to a wedding. Ringo is right in the way of my screen. (laughs) Lots of wedding stories today. Yeah, there is lots of wedding stories today. Are you hinting uh, something? I am not. So. <laughs> we got to stop putting the pressure on our guy. <laughs> we can't do that to him. It's unfair. We gotta, I just want to see if we in- ever get invited, Sean, or I fuck. I would announce I'll it. I'll tell you this. You're not going to get invited if you keep that up, bud. <laughs> yeah, Sean, Sean can come. That's racist. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> Juliet can come. <laughs> That's even more racist. <laughs> but you can't bring you as a plus one. <laughs> no. Someone's uh, got to carry her bags. That's my only job in this house. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, and then at the end, we have our Patreon exclusive stories where a classmate has pretty privilege and a mom blows up on a son's girlfriend. If you want to hear those stories, get ad free episodes and day early episodes go to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network sign up to support your boys uh hey up. Sh- sean gets excited every time he gets a an email from patreon saying there's a new one <laughs> so uh he gets Love very excited me. yeah exactly is there anything we want to hop into before we get into the stories i'm ready i think that can't wait we wait do we do housekeeping on these episodes we don't usually no Oh no! <laughs> okay, then real the quick, I, these people, these just real quick, because uh, these people paid money. I gotta say it. Okay. Uh, I meant to do this on last episode, but again, Monday went stupid long. My bad. But I have three Venmo shoutouts. I got a shout out. Uh, so thank three. you guys so much for Venmoing me uh, at S E A N 
No, no. S E A N at S E A N S M T P O D. This is from Sunday. Often your ads don't play on Apple Podcasts for Reddit on Wiki. I may regret <gasps> telling you this because as a lesbian, I really would prefer not to hear about men shaving their balls. Damn. You too can Alas, use Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, I want to make sure you get paid for your ads. Parentheses, not a patron yet. Close parentheses. Ooh. Much love, Sunday. You're going to get ads soon. Promise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the reason you didn't get ads is because we did not have ads to fill those slots. So. Yes. <laughs> I, I, we appreciate the money. Uh, That's very helpful. We have to pay our accountants. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, for doing our yes. taxes. And Ringo. We just did our taxes for the first time. Yeah. Second Venmo shout out. Shout out Phoebe. They write, absolutely do not. Share this with Josh. Or <gasps> How dare you, Phoebe? Come on, Love Phoebe. That for what me? is this? John, say the line. That's racist. <laughs> At least send it to me. Who cares about Josh? Fair enough. Damn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the way you guys divide up just to get a little bit of cash. I, yeah. Here. And the other agrees with it. I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, as long as John yeah, can right. see some of it. Yeah, like the, uh, let me get a percentage. You I'm, will get nothing from Phoebe and you will like it. Oh, and then the last me. shout out is from Kieran. They write from my cat Chickadee, who Ooh. touches the computer screen whenever she hears your voice. Lots Aww. of love, heart. Chickadee That's sounds cute. like a real, a real sweetheart, a real cool cat. I would love to see <laughs> pictures of Chickadee. Please join our Discord so you can send yeah. pictures of Chickadee. Maybe Sean, they're already so, in yeah. there. Maybe. Maybe y'all are already in there. I, I do need just to check, check the Discord. unless it's tagged. <laughs> yeah, unless I'm tagged. Uh, True. But yes, tag me in a picture uh, with Chickadee. I would love that. And tag Sean with your puns. Don't do that. Yes. Do it. That's All disrespectful. of it. If, if y'all start doing that, then I'm just going to not pay attention to any tag. So please don't do that. But anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for Venmoing me. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you guys. Love awesome. you guys. Well, thanks for that, Sean, even though... I will never you see, see a dollar. dollar. I will never <laughs> see a dime out of that shit. Not even a yeah, dollar. A not penny. even a dollar. Not even a penny. We don't have pennies up here. Loonies. But I would love toonies. to see it. Yeah. Thank you, John, for remembering. I got you. All right. Let's hop into the very first asshole story of the day. This you one. I say Phoebe was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Our first I listener get- asshole. <laughs> I have to disagree. Hey, shut I up, Sean. You got your absolutely yeah, Phoebe, disagree. I'm looking at you, you're Phoebe. A, you're paid hey, off, I'm a, Sean. I'm a Phoebe stan. I'm unbiased. I think she's a great person. I don't know, Phoebe. Kind of racially motivated to not include the other brown man. What about inclusion in this bitch, man? Come yeah. On. She, yeah. You know, one of the brown men got paid. I, I <laughs> don't know who, but... Uh, one of them. <laughs> one of them, definitely. <laughs> All right, so this one is cross-posted on our subreddit, r slash reddit on wiki by Broadway Muppet. Am I the asshole for not wanting to change my first dance song because of my stepsister's association with it? What's the song? Cotton Eye Joe or some shit? Uh, <laughs> Sweet I will Home say, Alabama. <laughs> oh, no. Sweet <laughs> Country Road. West Virginia. <laughs> Oh That's a throwback God. to Monday's episode if you haven't yeah. seen it. But uh, what's your prediction? I will say if it's a, like a triggering, uh, if it triggers a traumatic experience, I got to side with the, what was it? St- stepsister? Stepsister. Sister-in-law? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I got to side with the yeah. stepsister. Fair enough. Uh, or, you know, if you really do love that song, you could just tell her like, hey, really love you might want to step out during this yeah. time. You know what I mean? It means something to me, but I know it's like rough for you or whatever. Yeah, uh, there, there's some sort of compromise that could be made. So we'll see. Uh, you agree with that, John or John? Sorry. I'm just fixing it. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Monday's uh, episode. My coming God, back we're almost again. like a year and a half in and you still f- can't figure out who the hell we are. <laughs> what is going yeah. on? You guys act like your names aren't like the same. <laughs> 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 it's very difficult. Okay. <laughs> No, uh, one has good hair and one doesn't. So come on now. We both have great hair. What are you talking about? Your hair looks fantastic uh, today. You, Don't fucking you, cap. Thank you. One has moisturized lips and the other one has great hair. I'll yeah. let you figure out who's who. That's fucking <laughs> fucked up. Because I know my lips are chapped as fuck. You fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> you goddamn ass. 
two assholes. Read the in story. His <laughs> yeah, read the, the goddamn fuck, story. Fuck Josh. my prediction. Josh, okay. keep going. God fucking damn it. <laughs> so, uh, title again: Am I the asshole for not wanting to change my first dance song because of my step, uh, stepsister's association with it? Pretty much what the title says. So I'm going to keep it quick. We've chosen our first dance song. My sister is not at all happy because she and her ex-husband also had this as, at their wedding. And ah. she said she has a lot of memories with this particular song. She asked if I could change it. I told her, I get it, but this is what we want and I don't want to change it. She said she understood, but she's been acting differently around me. And I could also tell she was mad slash upset. Most people who know about this don't think I'm doing anything wrong, but I had my sister and one of my friends tell me I'm being selfish and not understanding here. Uh, so am I the asshole? I think nobody I sucks here. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because you, you both said your piece, saying like, hey, I'm uncomfortable like with this situation. And you also stood, the OP also stood their ground and say like, hey, but this is what we really want. It's our wedding. They just got to, what I think Sean already predicted it uh, from the get go. The sister probably just has to step away during that time. And yeah, I think no one sucks here. Everyone uh, addressed their, their um, concerns. Fair enough. Yeah, I agree. I, I, you know, when it comes to weddings and stuff, you always have like a, a schedule and everything. You can have like your wedding planner, like make sure like, oh, hey, they're about to do the first dance. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll bring you back in whenever the song's over. Like you can have something set up to where she doesn't have to be there and watch it. Yeah, I, I agree with John. Everybody has their own reasons for this, you know, situation. He doesn't want to change the song. That's something him and his fiance find special. Yeah. And uh, the sister-in-law doesn't have to like it either. Yep. So, you know what I mean? She could just leave. I think that's fine. You know, miss. And I don't know. Most weddings I go to, they don't even dance to the whole song. So just leave for like a minute or two and then come back. Should be fine. Yep. Agreed. Okay. So there is a update or I guess oh. more more information, less of an update. Like Sorry. an edit? Yeah, it's an edit because they were commenting and then people were like, you know, throw those comments in the actual post because the they're, they're important. Gotcha. So, uh, yes, a few months ago after they got married, he was in a car wreck. He thankfully survived, but has a very serious, uh, severe TBI, among other things. I don't know what TBI is. I have no but, idea what that is either. Um, oh, traumatic brain injury. Yes. Okay, there we go. Mm. He lives Dude, in a special... you good at abbreviation. You I was are very military, good at that. <laughs> That's all we <laughs> yeah. had. You did, you did that shit last episode, too. I'm like, yeah. oh, damn, John, John's smart, quick with it. Uh, I don't know uh, about that. So her husband uh, lives in a specialized nursing home. They did get a divorce, but my sister still goes on about how she loves him and visits him occasionally. He doesn't remember who she is most of the time, but my sister said she apparently sang the song to him and he looks like he remembers her. Those oh, were her words. Damn. Come what may from the movie Moulin Rouge is the song. Uh, my sister sees it as their song and she and her ex first met at the movies when they both uh, went to watch it. Then apparently the restaurant they went to played this for their first date. So they took it as a sign. As I said, they've also played at their wedding. She also sings it to him sometimes now. Does that change your opinion on whether she's an asshole? It doesn't. No. For me. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I think, I think Sean offered like a really good solution. Like if, if there's a way that a wedding, the wedding planner or who, the wedding coordinator can say like, Hey, do you mind stepping out for a little bit? I think that's probably the best course of action in that situation. Okay. Fair enough. I might lean more towards you're the asshole just because I think there's billion songs and you could choose another one. Mm. Uh, it, it, you would have to give me good reason as to why this is like you connect with this strongly. Didn't she give but, the reasons or did they give the reasons? No. I thought it was like no, when she, they played, uh, it played. No, that was, no, that was for the sister. Oh, the sister. That's for the sister. Yeah. sister. So she has connection to the song, which mm. made sense why they had it as okay. a wedding song. Uh, so if you have similar reasons, then I guess I can't fault you. But if you're just like, yeah, I like this song. Uh, I don't know. It's also your wedding, I guess. So I can't yeah. say yeah. you're truly an asshole, but I just lean more towards that just cause it's like, I don't know. They went through a traumatic thing and you're just really piling onto it. So I don't know. That's where I lean, but I can also see why you guys are That's like fair. more, more no, no one's the asshole. Okay. Uh, Man, that might have been our quickest one ever. <laughs> so uh, our We're next pressed one. on time. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, next one. Am I the asshole for refusing to let my sister borrow my wedding dress? And this one is no. cross posted by user Uberman. And you say no. I think no. Uh, 
It's your dress. You paid yeah. for it. You can do what you want with it. Uh, if your sister is super down bad and can't afford anything, you know, maybe you should reconsider. But again, you bought it. It's yours. Uh, think that's weird to share that dress with her then? Or if you're like saving your dress for like your daughter to like make a veil out of it or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, True. Maybe that's a thing. But you, I don't know. I, I feel like at the end of the day, it's yours. Fair enough. Yeah. It really depends. Yeah, it really depends. But I'm, I'm leaning with what Sean just said. Okay. Well, let's hop into it and see. Oh, fuck. Cramp. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, fuck. Man down. Workers oh comp. Oh. We don't have benefits. We can't, we can't afford <laughs> nah, that. Nah, nah. You got a cobra that shit. Bro. Yeah. Drink some that water. <laughs> do you need, what do you need my Theragun? <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> this one got Charlie horse by himself. Dude, I just tried to put my knee on top of my other, <laughs> like, you know, cross my legs. Well, I know what the Holy intro for YouTube is going to be. <laughs> God <laughs> fucking damn it. Aren't you, like, turning 30 soon or 31? Sorry, 31. Fuck. Hey. I'm turning 32. It's over. It's over. Ah, Still baby. in my 20s, baby. Fuck one you. More year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck you, Josh. <laughs> All right, let's hop into the story. So I, 28 female, got married last year in a beautiful ceremony. I spent a lot of time and money finding the perfect wedding dress for me. It was custom made and fitted to my body and had lots of sentimental value for me. I love my dress and I plan to keep it as a memory of my special day. My sister, 25 female, is getting married next month. And she asked me if she could- Next month? Yeah. (laughs) Girl, (laughs) next (laughs) month? And she asked, "Girl, you wild! <laughs> you are wild! You don't have a dress. You're getting married next month. Oh my god!" She asked me if she could borrow the dress for her wedding. She said she loved my dress and can't afford to buy one herself. Mm. She also said it would be nice to have something borrowed from me as her sister. I refused and told her that I'm sorry, but I don't want anyone else wearing my dress. It's very personal to me, and I don't want. To, I don't feel comfortable lending it out. I also told her that it wouldn't fit her anyway because we have a different body type and size. Girl, you unnecessary. <laughs> that part was unnecessary. Uh, she got very angry at me and called me selfish and stingy. She said I'm ruining her wedding by not letting her have her dream dress. She also oh, said wow. I'm being unreasonable because it's just a dress and I'm not going to wear it again anyways. She told our parents and they sided with her. They said I should be supportive of her, my sister and share what I have with her. They said it's not a big deal to let her wear my dress for one day and that I should be happy for her. I feel like they're all being unfair to me and not respecting my feelings or boundaries. It's my dress, not hers, Mm -hmm. and I have the right to decide what to do with it. So am I the asshole? Nah. Two for two on this. (laughs) uh, Wait, what's Sean's Sean's famous quote again? If you can't afford the vision, you got to change the vision. Is that right, Sean? Yes. Is that your quote about wedding? Make that a that, that was essentially the gist of it. Yeah, yeah. Girl, if you haven't gotten a wedding dress a month ahead of your <laughs> wedding, that's wild. You, I will. That's wild behavior. Unless you just got engaged like, and you're trying to do like a quick a one. A quick one. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I've heard of that. But I mean like a month out and you don't have a dress. You wild. Well, <laughs> it sounds like she can't that's afford wild. it, which is the issue, right? Well, can there you are wedding out? dresses at all. And you can, you can rent. rent. There, yeah, I'm, you can rent. There are wedding dresses at all. I've seen people get wedding dresses off of Amazon. You know what I mean? And then they, they get them altered by a professional. They yeah, that one ex-wife who wore the <laughs> red wedding dress to a wedding. There you go. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. There are other ways around it. Um, there are affordable ways. And like like John said, what I said. Uh, yeah, you gotta change it. You gotta change when John your quoted me, John- he was correct. <laughs> when John had that great quote by that wise guy, <laughs> right? Me, uh, Sean Hemsworth, <laughs> I think. Strong, his yeah, name. something like uh, that. He's a modern. Something like he's that. He's a modern on re- a subreddit. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> never hot. uses the he's flares cool. for some goddamn reason. <laughs> he's a hot and a cool. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I think that guy was right. Icy hot. Because uh, <laughs> you need it for your cramp. <laughs> goddamn. I need, a, so, I need tiger bone. <laughs> Man, that's the good shit. That is the good shit, bro. Oh. But yeah, uh, at this point, you gotta you gotta change change up the vision. You you shouldn't be yeah. doing a wedding you can't afford. And you're and, putting uh, your and you're putting your sister in an uncomfortable spot to be called an asshole. That's by the so entire a family. Weird spot. Yeah, it's unfair. 
Yeah, and the dress I, is like custom. I'm sorry, Josh. Uh, it's the dress is custom made with sentimental like value, like memorabilia in like within the dress. Like that's an unfair ask to like I'll, get that altered. You know. Also wild to call her stingy. Yeah. Uh, when you don't want <laughs> the weird, she paid for the dress. Yeah. Well, how is she the stingy one? True. Yeah, I, I I agree with most of what you guys are saying. Uh, I I think I'd add on to that that it's also like if you get the dress fitted to you, then it's absolutely no longer your like OP's dress, right? Yes. It, uh, so uh, it's, it sucks. Um, Wait, it's not OP's dress? Sorry, sorry. Like, like if, if OP lent it to her, her sister. And she gets it altered. Sister got it altered. Oh, then it's not her dress anymore. Definitely not the OP's dress because it wouldn't fit her. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, I mean, the, the whole body type shit, that was a little shady, but I mean. <laughs> yeah, but unnecessary. Still. Unnecessary. That was, that, was that, that was a stray. <laughs> yeah that you might be the asshole for that for that point just for alone, that comment, but, yeah. <laughs> but uh but everything yeah else, you're good you're good yeah you're not the asshole for not lending out the dress you can do absolutely whatever you want with it and your sister should prepare what better <laughs> don't yes, a month out as well a month out as crazy before <laughs> that's wild wild Get that uh, Amazon Prime. Yeah, right away. <laughs> and you'll have 28 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to hit a quick ad break and then we'll be right back with another story. So stay tuned. And we are back. What's up, Sean? How's your cramp doing? Uh, terrible. <laughs> I can't wait to finish this episode and <laughs> fix the issue. <laughs> Drink some water, man. Drink some water. Yeah, I get some electrolytes fucking, in your system, my guy. I did. I drank. A, I'm drinking water. I just had a kombucha. I don't know if there's electrolytes in kombucha. Dude, if you have to get up probably. for a pee break, you're gonna eat shit. <laughs> Dude, gonna it's lie. gonna be bad. And we're recording. I'm scared. Yeah. Couple yeah. months, Sean will be in a diaper. If I, <laughs> if, if I fucking Shack. if I trip and eat shit, it's like Shack. you know Josh is gonna post that shit everywhere. I will um, absolutely. <laughs> oh, speaking of podcasting mishaps, did y'all see that viral video? Of the podcasters Ooh, in Houston, yeah, they're recording a podcast at like a coffee shop, mm-hmm. which is bad. Why? Why do that? Why ruin people's coffee shop experience? <laughs> Didn't you perform at a restaurant? <laughs> at a restaurant, yes, but we were advertised for, okay, it, and okay. it was a wild <laughs> restaurant. Okay, what you was couldn't the- hear us unless you were close. What was the podcast? And a coffee shop is quiet. <laughs> you bitch! How dare you? How dare you bring me into this? Anyways. <laughs> What was the Anyways, podcast? they're recording a podcast. I forget. Okay. And they won't get a free advertisement on here. Fair enough. Uh, they were, I'm just joking, guys. I'm sure their podcast is great. I just don't know. <laughs> but uh, they were recording a podcast in a coffee shop. Uh, and their backs were like a big glass window. And a car just comes right through and hits oh. them both. Uh, but the car, you know, like hit a curb and then like slowed down. Yeah, but slowed still, down. It, hit, it hit the glass and the glass fell over and hit, hit the dudes. Jesus. And the one dude, one dude fell and the other dude's first reaction was to immediately take out his phone and start filming and being <laughs> like, oh my God, we just got hit by a fucking car. The That's way so of like, exaggerated whoa. pain. <laughs> I was like, whoa, I don't know if that would be my first, I think no. I would be worried about my friend. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that, I mean, I guess that's just the, the generation, right? You're like, let's get this on <laughs> for everyone to see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, we sound old saying this, but yeah, I, I, I think we would all <laughs> probably not friend first, or at least if you're recording, I would like get the, the license plate or something. <laughs> he immediately started making a TikTok, and it worked for them. They went viral. So. I mean, good Let's for get them. Hit, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll go to that same exact need. coffee yeah, shop yeah. and just wait. <laughs> Come just, on. Just tape on it right now. <laughs> I already have a viral like idea of what we're going to put for our fucking title. Oh, Crash course oh. on getting viral. Bam. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I just got to beg somebody to hit me. Am yeah. I the asshole <laughs> for hitting podcasters at a coffee shop? <laughs> the way I would do I insurance trying to study, fraud. but they wouldn't <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I just wanted my double double. Yeah. Uh, but uh, all right, let, let's hop into some stories. That was a good story, Sean. I, I enjoyed that. Sorry. Um, Am I the asshole for not reacting the way my boyfriend wanted me to? And this one comes from a patron, or not, sorry, not a patron, uh, a Wikimaniac. Throw Personal. away Gingy. Th- throw mm. Ray Gingy. Sorry. There we go. Uh, so, what do you guys think? I want to say no. Because, I mean, you can't help your immediate reaction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is, is the boyfriend like, trying to elicit 
a response? Like, I don't know. Uh, oh, gives, is this like? It's I giving feel like, like we've a had prank, a story like this, like a prank vibe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's like, what that's like the vibe where, I'm getting. Where that all the husband and their group of friends did the thing where they were yeah. like. Looked like they were cheating, and then they, he got wife. He got mad at his wife for not being mad. Yeah, right. Not, and Some immediately she, yeah, yeah, like yeah. she divorced and like took the kids out. Right, that that was a story. Thank God. Yeah, that yeah. Was, they, yeah, you're right. Thank God. Um, it could be something like that. Um, and I will be, see. I will be transparent. I did take off. Uh, the, the the original title had a ton of other details that I felt gives a lot of it away. So I just oh, reduced okay. it down to that. So that's smart. Fair. Um. I apologize to that Wikimaniac, but I'm sure they, they forgive me. Uh, Don't let me know. Him. He <laughs> has a know. lot of sins and so is his you ancestors. You <laughs> You <laughs> added it. <laughs> we, can, <laughs> we can read the, their wonderfully written title after you yes. read yes. it. Yes, I will read it after. I'll read it after. Yeah. Don't forgive Josh. All right. So, so let's hop into this. For context, my current significant other and I have been together for about a month when this happened. I used to work for a well-known entertainment and show company and traveled the, the States for seven months, beginning in November of 2021. During that time, I was in my last relationship that ended in September 2022. During the seven-month tour, I became friends with most of my cast and crewmates, including my friend, we'll call him B. After the tour ended, I went back home. B and I stayed in contact through text and normal things. B and I have always been in the clear state of our friendship, which is strictly platonic. Him and I both dated other people the entirety of our relationship and neither have shown any romantic interest in one another. So that's just preamble. Uh, I started dating my current significant other, we'll call him W, in January 2023. That was like a month ago. Yeah, I was saying, that's recent <laughs> as hell. Damn. Okay. Uh, I'm always very open about my personal relationships as well as my phone because I've been in situations where phones can cause trust and relationship issues. We have heard many of the Snapchat yes. stories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We just read a text one on Monday. Yeah, we did, yeah. Yeah, we, we did. did. Sure did. I told W about B and vice versa. Initially, W didn't show any jealousy or worry about B and I being friends. Fast forward to February 13th and B sent me flowers. I took this as a kind of gesture and nothing more. I posted a picture of the flowers on my Instagram story and said a little thank you. One of W's coworkers saw it and showed W. W doesn't really use a lot of social media. Then W exploded at me over a text message while I was working. He expressed all of his feelings and said it was rude and disrespectful for me to accept the flowers and not tell B how inappropriate it was for him to send them since I have a, bo a boyfriend. I tried to explain that it didn't mean anything romantic and I definitely did not receive it as romantic, but he didn't believe me. He called me a liar and untrustworthy. I attempted to provide a uh, solution and compromising saying I could text B and ask him not to do it again because I didn't want W feeling worried or uncomfortable, as well as apologizing to W for hurting his feelings, even if I never intended to. W did not find any of that satisfactory and stopped talking to me. Since he clearly did not want to see me or talk to me, I decided I would just drop off the Valentine's gift I had gotten for him at his apartment and go home. He sent me a text message a day later saying I clearly wasn't ready for a serious or committed relationship and more or less breaking up with me. I generally don't know how I could have handled the situation any better. I tried to explain my perspective to W and tell him that even though B sent me flowers, I didn't ask for them. I didn't send B anything. I did not have any romantic interest in B and I see him only as a platonic friend and tried to re reassure W that I only like W and I was attempting to come up with a way to make it better for both of us while sticking to my logic and not caving. So am I the asshole for getting flowers from my friend and not reacting the way my boyfriend told me I should have? No. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. know. <laughs> I think uh, you dodged a bullet. It's only been a month. It's yep. a huge overreaction mm -hmm. yeah. for only a month. Uh, and even if you were dating for a long time, you got to learn how to trust your partner. You know what I mean? If they say it's platonic, then it's, it's platonic. platonic yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I, for for me, maybe I'm just kind of naive or whatever. But if somebody tells me, I'm gonna assume it's the truth unless. I have reason to believe it's not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless proven otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, and for like a month of dating, uh, you're coming off way too strong, but I don't love the reaction. Uh, if she she explained everything, she gave you choices. Well, I, I don't know if this is a she, uh, but they gave you choices. True. Actually, it doesn't uh, clarify. <laughs> yeah. They gave you choices. You chose Nothing. Sounds like you didn't come up with any suggestions yourself. Yeah. And when you just started ignoring the fuck out of them, 
what did you expect? I don't know what you want to happen. Maybe, maybe the boyfriend's trying to like, I want you to fight for me. Yeah. It's, <laughs> and I have to I tell you, fight nobody for a month. It's one man. month. Yeah. It's one month. Yeah. I, I, you're still trying to figure out boundaries and what you're comfortable you, with. You probably didn't even get the, like, since you've only been in that relationship for so long, you probably even, he even had the chance to introduce who B was. You right. Know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh crap. Like I totally forgot to have like this friend. No, and she, like, she, she told, or they, they told who W who B was. They, they mentioned that they, they oh, have explained okay. who they are. Um, but like when the flowers was received already though, right? Yeah. They, uh, w should have already known. I think they, they'd okay. already explained who was who, you know, you usually know who your friends, <laughs> your friend, your girlfriend or boyfriend's friends are. But in like um, a month, I could see why like it could not probably slip through the crack. It. Yeah. It could probably slip through the cracks. That's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. But I think, I think they clarified that they did know. Okay, so I might, I might uh, have missed that part then. That's fair. But, yeah, I mean, even even if it did upset you, the way you went about it was the wrong, like not like OP, but W, the way W went around about it was mm-hmm. the wrong way. Don't yeah. just freak out on them because what do flowers mean? You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not it's not like uh, OP has has cheated on you in any way so far. She didn't give you uh, any reason to like feel insecure about that shit. And if I was exactly, w, and if I was W in that situation, and if like. I don't know. I'm the type of person, if I'm in a relationship with someone, I'm thinking always long term. You know what I'm saying? So, like, right. to me, I would take that opportunity to be like, oh, hey, I want to get to know B. Like, if if they if they mean that much in your life, like, I want to get to know them. Like, trying mm-hmm. to see what their intentions are. And then if and if W finds a feeling like, oh, crap, I think this guy, like, likes you more, then you can react the way you react. Did. Or but, even, even if right away it made you feel uncomfortable, mm-hmm. just communicate that. Say... Hey, yeah. that made me feel a, ter- a certain type of way. And if, if well, you did a silent sh- treatment instead, like, yeah. oh, I don't, like I'm what's jealous. that going to solve really in the long term? Uh, it's not, it's not a good base, you know, level of yeah. communication and, and relationship building. It's, Hey, I think this is a red flag. I'm, I'm out, you know? Yeah. And I mean, I guess after a month, what did you, either of you really lose? So, 30 day money yeah. back guarantee, baby. You still got it. It's still in play. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, unfortunate, but you're definitely not the asshole in that situation. Yeah, um, for sure. I think W overreacted and W took an L for that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, with that, continuing the streak of no assholes from our listeners. We love oh, it. No. Some except it's for 2023. the one that yeah, except Venmo'd Phoebe. Sean. I'm Phoebe. looking at you, Phoebe. Come and on. we're not at all in agreement with that one. I think Phoebe <laughs> is a little misunderstood. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you're misunderstanding the fact that you're not sending it to the other brown person. The white <laughs> man you can skip, but the other brown person? Mm. Look yeah. at how you guys divide so quickly over money. I didn't even say anything. I hate to see <laughs> John immediately cut me out. All right, Josh, <laughs> let's make our separate Venmo account. And when we start getting shit, let's, let's, let's get Sean off the loop. See how it'll ever roll. Yeah. <laughs> Sean at, <laughs> wait, what is it? Sean, that's fucked at up. S-E-A-N-R-O-W. <laughs> His other show wow. <laughs> that he actually should promote to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're fucking killing it. I feel like we don't need to promote. We <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> My other show gets two viewers. One of them is me. Uh, hey, I'm the other person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I watch the YouTubes. Mm, sure you uh, do. Thank you. I do. I comment too. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, Josh does comment. Yeah. He's our only comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's hop into this next one. Uh, this one, I hope, is cross-posted by traditional lower score roll, lower score 205. Am I the asshole for making a family memory book with just my full siblings and not including my stepsister or half siblings? I already know oh. what Sean feels about this. Go ahead, go off, my boy. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> there you so go. rude. Okay, that's so rude. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. That's so exclusive, and I mean, legit, are your blood? They're half siblings. You know what I mean? Not that's the, crazy. Not, not the stepsister. Not the stepsister, but even then, you know, they're your sibling. <laughs> I, no, I was just clarifying that you were like, yeah, it's okay yeah. to cut that one out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not what I meant, but yeah, I can see how that's Im- sort of uh, assumed. Implied, yes. yeah. Is yeah. the implication. All, all, all of them are your siblings. 
Yeah. Step, a half, it doesn't matter. Uh, to make some, that's like, I don't know. I mean, I don't have any step or half siblings, but uh, imagine if I had two sisters uh, and I took a picture with just one and I was like, oh, me and my only sister. <laughs> and then if I could post it, that shit, can you Instagram. imagine? That's, <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. You made a whole scrapbook. You know how much effort that takes? True. Yo. You killed trees to make this. Come on. Yeah. Uh, this now, is crazy. I want to ask the only one qualified, uh, John, who is an only child. What do you think? <laughs> Fuck them siblings, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Loki, the opposite of the John's the like, I would never person. make a memory book of anything. Yeah, because I have no memories of anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just <Jesus>. Kevin. <laughs> Just Kevin. Uh, all right, let's hop into it. See uh, if your asshole prediction is correct, Sean. So. My mom and dad had me 17 male, my sister 14 female, and my brother 13 male together. My mom died eight years ago. My dad remarried six years ago, and it was not easy for the three of us. My dad's wife, Rose, has a daughter who's like 11 now. They also have a four and two year old together. About a week after their wedding, my siblings snuck into my room in the middle of the night, sad about my dad being married and the changes that had happened. They asked if I felt like mom was really gone now, And I said, yeah, I asked them if they'd like to have something to remember us, just us, no new family involved, where we could remember mom and talk about that stuff. They said yes. So I raised the money to buy a pretty nice scrapbook. And about once a month, my siblings would sneak into my room at night and we put photos and write memories we had. And I'd share the stories I remembered of mom, since as the oldest, I remembered her best and remembered the stories about her I'd heard. We never added Rosie or our stepsister or half sibling when they were born, but we also didn't talk about it to my dad or anyone else. I knew he wouldn't love that we were doing it. I kept it hidden in my room. Three weeks ago, Rose went through my stuff and found it. She claimed she was cleaning up in my room, but I know she was snooping because I had hidden in a place she wouldn't be cleaning. She went through it, showed my dad and sat my siblings and I down and told us that was really unfair thing to have in the house and how mean it was to do something like that without all the siblings involved. My brother said it was just for the three of us as real siblings. Dad told him that it was a shitty attitude and what are our step siblings and half siblings if not real siblings. My sister said that it would always be different. Rose said that we should never have made something in the home that we all shared when excluded in the three of our siblings and it would hurt feelings. She said we should have done something to bring all of us together. My sister said that that wasn't wasn't what she wanted. My dad sent them out of the room and he and Rose told me I never should have gone along with it and how much it hurt my stepsister when she saw the book and heard what we had been doing. Rose said it hurt her too and that she tried to make us all one family and that we made sure never to close that divide in the last six years. Dad told me he expected better of me. So am I the asshole? I'll take a 180 here. I was wrong. I think you're not the asshole. Wow. I think you just explained it poorly to them, maybe. I think like, your siblings maybe explained it poorly. Yeah, because it's not really like a sibling scrapbook. This is a tribute to the mom. y'all's mom. Yes. yes. I, I so think if that's it's a tribute, it Yeah, if it's a tribute to the mom, it's not like you're excluding your stepsister and your half-siblings, but they have nothing to do with your mom. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're just paying respect to your mom and- in a way that y'all know how to and a way that is working for the three of you. Uh, I think, you know, if you guys just explain it a little bit better, they should understand. I I mean, because I absolutely get where they're coming from on their side of things. Because if they're just seeing it as like a scrapbook of the three kids being happy and like not really knowing that it's mostly, you know, the whole idea was to honor their mom, then I could see how they were, would be, you know, offended or like hurt right? because, you know, I like my reaction before I heard the story, I would be fucking hurt. You know what I mean? If I was left out. Yeah. But it, it sounds like even the whole argument, nobody brought up the fact that, you know, this was for mom and that yeah. the, the real sibling thing really took center show when it should have been, this is for your mom. Yeah. And just to expand with what Sean said, like, I also agree. I don't think they're an asshole. Um, I think the creation of that, the memory scrapbook was just saying that right, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. I haven't been picking on you, but best believe when the time comes, literally we can't do every goddamn word with Sean in it because there's too many. There's too many. I explained it to a Wikimaniac and in a comment, I'm like, I got to pick and choose now because then I'm going to run out of words. So like, I'm I'm strategic about this. If I hear a new word that I haven't mentioned yet, 
then it'll it'll come. That's not even a trust. New one, but me. continue. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, it's just it's. I think for them to create that scrapbook, it's just for them to feel some sort of normalcy again. Because to me, it sounds like they haven't felt whole as a family since the mom, the mom passed away. And just having that memorabilia right there to see, it, it gives them that feeling of not just nostalgia. It's just like, hey, this is the last time I felt whole. And right. there's no, I, I get it. And like what Sean said, I, I sympathize for the other family because it does suck being not included at times, you know, but they weren't part of the equation at, when, when that happened. So mm-hmm. they shouldn't have any stake in, in that in that situation. So yeah. that's just me. I will also add they they didn't specifically say they were adding like their father in these the scrapbook either. So mm-hmm. it, it, like I, I'm sure he's in it just from being within photos of photo like yeah. you know, but it's not like they were even out to be like this is our f- real family. They're like we just this is for our mom and ourselves. And the father was like not even mentioned. So I, I agree with you guys. I think you're you're not excluding anyone. You're just making a tribute to your mom and. Yeah. Uh, at least I, not I on think, purpose. And they can't no. even do it on purpose because they weren't around when the mom was around, you know? So no, yeah, it'd be one thing if like, uh, and I honestly, I would explain this to your, your stepsister who's old enough to understand your, you know, your other si- siblings are probably too young to get it, but at least explain to her and be like, Hey, this is not about you. This is, you know, just a family thing and explain it better than your siblings did. Cause I think that's part of where the issue is too. And th- yeah, not even, not even like it's a family thing, but it's like, this is for my, our mom. Right. Like, Sorry. Yeah. That's what they, I they were young. They were like kids when she mm. passed. And this is like a good way for us to always remember. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I feel like anybody with any comprehension skills would be like, Oh, okay. This is for yeah, Joe's that. mom. Right. Yeah. This is a way to remember her. So yeah, of course we're not like, that's fine. Y'all do what y'all need to do. Yeah. And then if I, you want to st- extend yeah. an olive branch, say, Hey, we can make one together if you want to. Uh, that's something, yeah, with our family. something separate. You know what I mean? Like that's that, nice. that should have been probably where the, even the parents, cause the parents are fucking failing on this, not realizing what it truly is. The stepmom's kind of being, you know, classic trope <laughs> and the dad's failing at, you know, realizing that what his it's kids are doing all along. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And standing up for his kids for that reason. Um, but yeah, if they wanted to mend that bridge, they should have been like, Hey, I see what you guys are doing. I think that's wonderful. Um, I'd love it if we could also make one for our family or something like that, you know, don't force it on them, but just uh, give it a, give an option. And with that, we're going to hit our second ad break. Ooh, that's right. We got, we got, ad- we got advertisers now. Yeah, we hope. Okay. I don't know if you saw that, but when I was gulping my water, uh, a little dribble came out. And nice. It- <laughs> Just yeah. some drool. <laughs> yeah, for the for the viewers. You can have a lot Meme of that. You can have a you? lot of content. <laughs> Sean just fucking up this episode. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. All right, God let's hit an ad and we'll be right back. And we're back. Let's hop into this next story right away. It's, it's gonna be a long episode. Uh we got Ooh. two more stories to do, and then we still got our Patreon stories. So look at you. Let's hop. Patrons eating. They're mm-hmm. eating. They're loving these extra stories. So just a trigger warning before we get into the next story, uh, it has, uh, you can, you can actually listen through most of the story. Just the update has a bit of a trigger warning for suicide. So, uh, if you want to just skip the update, feel free to just skip ahead, uh, however many minutes in the timestamps, you know, check it out. All right. So am I the asshole for flipping out at my friend for choosing not to come to my wedding? This one is cross posted, posted. I'm not sure. Is it pink? Yeah, I linked to the wrong thing. But uh, this one is cross-posted by Wedding Lazy Throw, I I think. Oh, this one was posted on Am I the Asshole. I apologize if you cross-posted this. Uh, I lost the link to the (laughs) cross-post. But (laughs) (laughs) some of the issue is like uh, when I get to the cross-post finally, a lot of them are like gone. Yes. And so I have to actually go into the post and then I link to the wrong thing and then I'm like, Confused. So I apologize if you cross posted this. this is- <laughs> I, I'll properly link it in the show notes so uh, you guys can go check it out. But so am I the asshole for flipping out of my friend for choosing not to come to my wedding? Well, it depends. Did you spend money on your friend to come there? Are they part of the wedding party? And they just uh, bailed true. last minute? Great question. If you paid for the plate, then you're absolutely justified in being upset. Yes. Yeah. Without context for me, there's tons of reasons not to like. Like there's tons of circumstances where something happens and you can't go really. Yeah. Though, right. Uh, yeah, like a, 
like a, a car accident, sure. family, or a family member, emergency, or you know, something like that. Yeah, I mean, there are definitely reasons to to not go. It's your friend's sure. ex or something. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, then they should have never accepted the RSVP. Yeah. Uh, oh, that. Yeah, that's that's where I draw the line. Because like, I, I was, <laughs> to me, I was gonna say personal story. Like, I one of my best friends like had a wedding, and I was like, dude, I'm not in a mental space. And yeah. I don't have the money to be here right now. I know I was part of your groomsmen, but I had to decline. Yeah. Like I can't, I can't go. Yeah. I know this is like one of your most important days of your life, bro. But I'm like, but I'm not, I'm not there mentally. Right. And financially. Well, exactly. And that's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. Or like just off the bat, it's like, there's so many reasons why you mm. might not be able to come. Um, bridal, being a part of the bridal party can be expensive. It is very sure. expensive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're a woman, I feel like you got to buy the dress. dress. Like at least men could, could rent the suit. And yeah. It'd be mm. like, not that bad. <laughs> or you can, you can wear the same suit, multiple weddings. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. If you buy it, your suit, you yeah. could wear it to yeah. everything. Yeah. So definitely cheaper for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's hop into it and see if the friend actually gives a reason. I 34 female am marrying the love of my life. This may we got engaged in April of last year. We've been doing wedding prep for a while now. So everybody knew about this weekend way ahead of time. We plan to have the ceremony at the church and then go to a ballroom for the reception, both of which are nearby. So it's not like this is a destination wedding. I just wanted to put that out there. My friend, Anna, not a real name, uh, 36 female was set to be one of my seven bridesmaids. I considered her one of my best friends and I thought it would be fun for her to be at my bridal party. However, last month she backed out as being a bridesmaid and we had to find a replacement. She said that she couldn't be a bridesmaid anymore because she was too, quote, tired. I was kind of upset by her decision, but I let it go. Of course, she was still invited to my wedding as a guest. Yesterday, I got a call from Anna saying that she would have to decline her invite to my wedding. I was very upset by this and asked her why she wasn't able to come. She gave the same excuses before that she was too, quote, tired to come and that she didn't feel like it, that she just had other stuff going on, etc. I was fuming. Since I don't think not feeling like it is a good enough excuse to not come to my wedding. And like before, this wedding, which I've been dreaming of for about years, was planned well in advance and doesn't even require that much travel. So she could have easily worked around it, but is just actively choosing not to. I flipped out at Anna. I called her selfish and stupid for her bullshit reasons. And if she were a real friend, she would put aside her own feelings and attend the event. She yelled at me crying and called me a bridezilla before hanging up the phone. Now she's not responding to any of my texts. I feel bad for flipping out at her. And I think I may be the asshole for that. But at the same time, I honestly feel like Anna is being selfish and lazy here. So am I the asshole? I'll say, yeah. I was going to say everyone sucks here. <laughs> because I definitely, I definitely would be butthurt. But I for sure would not like unload that on Anna. If this were, my, I, because my, my thing is, I feel like Anna might be lying. Uh, maybe something else. Yeah. I would imagine if you're really my best friend or one of my best friends, you're not just going to miss because you're tired. You're going right. to miss for another reason. And maybe Anna's not comfortable enough to tell me what it is. You know, maybe it is a financial situation. And she's also just like, it's kind of embarrassing to say that. Or maybe it's something else. Like, I don't know. I, like we said, there are many reasons. And maybe she's just not comfortable explaining why it is. Well, I can, I could let you guys just guess reasons. I can tell you the reason. Um, this is a hundred percent why it was, the post was deleted. Uh, but a user ultra Lusk, uh, asked for info. Has anything happened to Anna recently? It so sort of sounds like she is depressed and OP comments. I know that her daughter took her own life back in December, I take but, it again, back. She, she, uh, but again, she's not thinking about this wedding, which is only one day. So I'm sure she could have pushed through it. Definitely an asshole. Never mind. Fuck I was going to say everyone sucks here, but nope. You're an asshole, baby girl. Yeah. That's Fuck you. Yeah. Unhinged of you to just be like, holy uh, push, shit. Push through it. You're yeah. Like one day. That's not how depression works. Depression is all the fucking time. Uh, that took a is fucking non, turn, dude. Like, yeah, I know. Oh my know. God. Yeah. Grief, not uh, something you get over. It's something that you live with forever. It's, you know, and everybody grieves in their own ways. And if, like John said at the beginning of this, if you're not in the mental state to do it, why would you do it? You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to look out for you sometimes, especially when you're not feeling great. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine 
losing my child and then being told like, let's fucking party right now. Well, and as, I mean, as someone who has been and clearly not like I haven't lost anyone like they have, but I've been in depressive states before. And the last thing you want to do is just put on a smile and go to a party because yeah, that's pain. You feel so much fucking worse. Like, and, and like you try and go out and you try and put on his face and it, it is draining. Uh, tired is an excellent description because that's what you feel. Um, it, it's draining to put on that, that face and, and try and act like you're okay. Um, you're a hundred percent the asshole. You should be looking out for your friend, asking if there's anything you can do to help them. I know you're stressed with your wedding. So if that's not possible, ask another friend to do that. Look out for them. Um, but don't fucking make it worse. Uh, you this are- is crazy. Cause I was like, okay, you know, you just got to accept it. Maybe there's something that she's like not willing to tell you. This is something you know she's going through. Yes. Yeah. And you're still like, dude, suck it up. Full insensitive. I'm getting, I'm getting fucking married. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Are like, you crazy? Like we put marriage on a, on a pedestal here, but not that kind of pedestal. There are no, limits to what not. a wedding, like what you can get away with being like, you know, a quote unquote bridezilla. Uh, I mean, John said it perfectly at the start of this, you know, when, whenever he had his own personal story, it is what it is. If you can't be there, you can't, if you're just not there mentally for it, it's not going to be a good time for you. Yeah. I'm sure, Um, you know, Yeah, and and if it's not a good time for you, you you can only fake it so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was going to say other people might feel that and be like, Oh, like, yeah, that's exactly the reasons why, why I didn't go, Sean. Like, um, I know I went. I went to travel elsewhere to do that, but because I wanted to be away from my current situation and like, I didn't want to go to the wedding because everyone's going to ask about it. It's like, yes. Hey, how are you doing with your dad? How are you and this and that? I'm like, well, I don't want to explain to like the fucking 40,000 people that there's not that much people, but like, yeah, I don't want yeah, to it repeat feels it. Like it though. I don't want to repeat it like a hundred times of how fucking depressed I am. So let me just go elsewhere at yeah. a country that I'm like, no one knows me and I can just be on my own head and like, just think about myself like at the moment. And how insensitive yeah. are you? You said the the thing was May, the wedding. Yeah. And then the 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 friend lost the, the kid in December. Yeah. Bro, that's like, that's not even enough time to like go to a grief counseling at the moment. You know, like a lot of people when they lose a loved one, sometimes they don't even go un- up until like, five or six months later on, they probably just right. tried to process all those situations by themselves internally and then seek help. Like how, how, how selfish are you to a friend and you call her a best friend and you have the audacity to say, dude, get over it for one day for me. Like, fuck yeah. you, dude. Like that's just so bad. That made me mad. No, I mean, <laughs> furious. I'm furious about that one. Um, yeah, I think you guys covered it all. Uh, beautifully said, John. And, uh, yeah, we'll move on. We'll move on from that one. Uh, all right, let's get into our final story here. Uh, are you boys ready for it? Before we get into our Patreon, we still have Patreon. So you guys aren't done, (laughs) but we still good. We good. Regular listeners are. Yeah. What's a cramp? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Get over it. Get over it, Sean. (laughs) It's it's Uh, been 30 minutes already. You should be all right. Yeah. (laughs) This one is, I got this one from Am I the Asshole, uh, is posted by Hungry Midscore Estimate Midscore 976. Am I the Asshole for telling my wife I'm moving? It is up to her if she's coming with me or not. Damn. Whoa, what? Like, so, y'all didn't make yeah, a decision I think you're together? A- yeah, I think you're an asshole <laughs> for not uh, <laughs> figuring this out prior. It's <laughs> a good Good guess. Uh, yeah, we'll hop into it and we'll see here because I feel this one will be a quick decision. Oh, so, quick. Okay. Oh, definitely asshole. <laughs> yeah, <they're> the asshole <laughs> now that you said it that way. <laughs> My wife and I have been married for six years and have two kids under five. We live on the East Coast in a two bedroom small house. Uh, COL here is insane. What is COL? Cost of living. Cost of living, yeah. I oh, yeah. got it before you did, John. Whoa. <laughs> you have the story the in front of you. One. I'm the military guy now. Okay. <laughs> sure. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> You're too nice. My <laughs> you famously hate the military. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Uh, my parents moved down south a few years ago. 
My mother called me up a few weeks ago to tell me a house in their community is up for sale. They are good friends with the owners and can get us a good deal for the house. To me, this sounds amazing. Everything there is cheaper and we will have more space and more bedrooms for our kids. I work from home, so I talk to work and I would be able to keep my job no problem. My wife would need to leave hers, but it would cover for both of us until she finds a new one. I contacted a real estate agent to get an estimate on how much we can get for our house here, and if it's a good amount, we would make an easy move. Once I had everything worked out and I was sure it was a good idea, I brought it to my wife. She was totally against it immediately. She doesn't want to leave her job, she doesn't want to move the kids away from her family, and she doesn't want to leave her friends. I explained to her that when she puts her selfish reasons aside, uh, she'll see this as a good opportunity for our kids. Okay, brother. Okay, you gotta brother. finish the story, asshole. <laughs> I'm only halfway through. It gets God worse, okay? Damn. <laughs> Does it? We will have more money and more space, a bigger backyard, and we will be closer to my parents so our kids would be without family. She said there was no chance and that her life is here and has been her entire life, and she has no intention to change that. I was pissed and slept on the couch that night. I slept. <laughs> I, I like how he says it like. Yeah, I made the choice to sleep on the couch. Yeah. I was so it mad. Definitely wasn't. I my... wanted to sleep there. <laughs> yeah, me, me sleeping on the couch I because made the I wanted to. Yeah, not my own bed. Not I, the comfort of my own bed. I'm celibate of my own volition. <laughs> <laughs> volition. God. <laughs> there you. There's a new one. There we go. I spent all night thinking about it, and it came to the decision that if she doesn't want to do the right thing by our kids, I will. I laid it out for her. It was up to her if she wanted to move, but I had made the decision to move. She could either Mm. come with me or we would divorce. No, We could sell the house, split it, and that will use my half for a new home down south, and she can do whatever she wants with her half up here. Probably would have to rent. We would have to work custody out for of of our kids. She has a month to make the decision, but I was going to start the process and get all my business in order. She told me I was being crazy and has only been speaking to me about the kids for the last week. I have been in contact with the seller of the new house and I am setting things in motion. My parents told me I'm doing the right thing and looking out for my oh, kids. Oh, fuck your parents too. <laughs> I ran it by my friend who told me I'm an asshole for expecting my wife to change her entire life. Good friend. But, but this is what's best for our kids and I think she needs to grow up and stop being selfish and think of our kids. Am I the asshole? Yes. yes. <laughs> A I will say this. asshole too. Yeah. I, uh, I will say this. I do get moving in the interest of your kids, you know, improving the quality of life by having a cheaper cost of living. But you cannot make a decision for your whole family and totally disregard your your wife and her wishes. Like try and find some sort of compromise, maybe move to a cheaper neighborhood wherever y'all are at. But you can't just fucking like you're insane that this is like an issue of divorce for you. Um, yeah, you like can't come up with any solution. It seems like there are plenty of solutions that you could make, or s- certainly many compromises. Uh, you know, if she, yeah, you're calling her selfish. Uh, That's but, you. I mean, you're like, <laughs> yeah, you're like, we'll be close to my parents. We'll be close to <laughs> my hometown. You know, what's the problem? Like, yeah, as much as this is gonna, she's just gonna be just as mad as you are there. You know what I mean? Yeah. As much as this is gonna pain Sean, uh, but there's more to life than money. She's clearly com- <laughs> it's like what 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 do you mean by that? Sounds like something a guy with money would say, brother. Uh, mm. trust me, I am not. Uh, but <laughs> I don't even um, say that. Like, like she's comfortable where she is. She grew up here, family, friends, her job. You know, she loves where she is right now. She doesn't feel the need to change that. Your parents decided to move down south. Um, so, so it's not your obligation to move to follow them. You know what I mean? If that's what this is part of it. And then, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like I get it. Everything's expensive. Kids are expensive, but you're, you're saying you want to make things better for your kids. I can guarantee, uh, moving away from them is not going to make that better for them. Uh, you know what I mean? Also divorce is not cheap. I imagine Mm -hmm. also that I've never been in it, but I imagine, and I feel you're losing that. Yeah. (laughs) I feel like that's only adding expenses to y'all's lives. Uh, seems unnecessary. Let me, I I could tell you that I could tell you this though. All right. Let me break it down real quick. Let me talk to you. Money is everything. (laughs) Let me go LA night. Let me go LA. Yeah. You know, you know, Go LA night real quick. Yeah. So (laughs) this person is unhinged in my opinion. Okay. So you're telling me that you think the right route 
is to completely uproot your family's life, take them somewhere where they have no familiarity with whatsoever, and you expect them to adjust right away. That's that's selfishness 101 for yes. me. Two, I think if you had made the presented the information to your wife, like, hey, my intentions for, for the long run is for our kids to have the best quality of life whatsoever. If you had presented that situation immediately to your wife, chances are your wife probably would have considered it if you talked to her about it. But no, yeah. you're like, oh yeah. Or go ahead, John. Or at the at the very least, even if you because I mean, maybe he did. I'm assuming he's did he did if he's like bringing divorce to this. I'm like at the very least, like make make it known that like the way that y'all are living right now is not, not sustainable. To the kids, right? Is and is not good for the kids. Then y'all could work on finding other solutions that save y'all money. Exactly. You know what I mean? Or other solutions to make more money. But instead, uh, you know, the solution instead, that this fool came up with is to sell the house, split the profits of the house, and then figure out living living situations for your kids. Are you really doing things for your kids, or you're doing it out of your own selfish needs? Let me just ask you that, my guy. So because look, divorce expensive. Right. Flying the kids back and forth expensive. expensive. You're not saving money, no. my guy. Divorce and moving away is not saving money. This is psychotic. Yeah, it sounds like you just want a divorce, and this is the that's way exactly it. what it sounds like. <laughs> Don't put this in the veil of I'm the righteous partner here. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to do I'm this for my for the kids. kids. Don't you're weaponize your children selfish. as ammunition. Yeah, you. This yeah. is all of your needs that you wanted. Exactly. This is, this is nothing to do with your family. This is just solely for you. Cause nothing, all this, all this shit that I hear is just me, 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 me. I want this. I want that. Yeah. Nothing is that had to do with your kids. Like you were just being a selfish prick. Oh man. Ooh. Good. I like that. I think we all agree. Asshole. Oh, right off the for bat. sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I knew it was going to be a quick decision. Um, well, that is it for this shit. episode. Yeah, you're gonna want to sign up. You're gonna want to sign up. Oh if you're my. not a patron, <laughs> you missed the biggest fight we've ever had. What we've are you doing? Not, if you're not we've a patron, never strongly disagreed on something more that doesn't really matter. You know? Okay, <laughs> Dude, we fought. You thought you thought the sauce from Monday was a fight. This was oh, a fight, brother. That, and we're still kind of hot about it. Uh, I don't yeah. care that much. <laughs> no. <laughs> And that just proves that we exactly. were raised differently. <laughs> I mean, I f- I'm furious. <laughs> fuck you guys for disagreeing with me on that story. Yeah, that fuck we you and Reddit, Josh. We don't give a uh, shit about you guys, what you think. <laughs> well, I have one more fuck you to you guys. Mm, okay. So I've done it again. What'd you do? One of the, one of the stories today was AI generated. Jesus God, Christ. Damn it. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I did an AI generated story right before Christmas and I said I would bring it back every once in a while because people seem to love the guessing game. Damn so we're going to pay. Game. So don't look in the show notes, everyone. Don't do it. Uh, don't check which ones have a link and which ones don't. <laughs> Cheater. Oh, man. But which of our stories was AI generated? John and Sean, here were the titles again, or not the titles, but the, the summary. So we have a first dance song that caused an argument between the two sisters. Uh, the sister who wa- wanted to borrow a wedding dress from her other sister. Uh, girlfriend doesn't react to the flowers that she gets from a friend. Uh, the family scrapbook causing a fight between step siblings. A husband who wants to move no matter what. <laughs> and a friend who didn't come to her other friend's wedding. Which one do you guys think is the fake? Just out of like uh, off the dome, I'm hoping the friend missing the wedding is fake. Okay. But it seems too real of a twist that AI couldn't come up with that. True. <laughs> I did say there was an update with that one, so that's hard to... I don't know if AI... Okay, oh, so that that's a tell. So which ones had updates? <laughs> I don't remember which one had updates. But which if I were to updates? guess, and I know I'm going to be wrong, I'm going to go with the first story about the wedding song. Okay. Just because, I don't know, the AI... The AI. The there AI. was too many speci- <laughs> There was too many specifics, like the song and the title and the... Ah, Okay. So I'm gonna That's go a, with I'm gonna go with that. Good read. You're saying that one's the AI? Yes. I, I do have to tell you there was an update with that one. Oh, there was an update? Oh shit. I'm pretty sure. Was there? I'm pretty sure. Cause uh whenever it started, we didn't know that all the meaning behind oh, the song. Oh, that's right. And then we found out. Oh yeah. That was Fuck an update. Me. That was just info. Oh, that was just info. <laughs> yeah. What did AI Ooh, he's give trying, info? He's trying to get though. us off the scent. 
He's trying to get you know us what? off I'm the gonna scent. be wrong, but it's okay. I'm gonna stick with that one, even though it's okay. just an info. What about All you, right, Sean? I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say the wedding dress one. The wedding dress one. The second one? The one that doesn't yeah. fit the sister? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. I will say one of you is thing. correct. It's Sean. And one of you is wrong. It's obviously. Sean's right. <laughs> yeah, Sean's right. And Sean is correct. It is the wedding dress yeah! story. AI is not good enough to get them. Although I think the update one really narrowed it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was quick maths, bro. Good job. Yeah, yeah. That was good, Sean. That was good. Thanks. Um, we got him. Let us know, Wikimedia. You're watching that glass Wait. onion. <laughs> Wait. He's trying to throw us off the sand because he did reveal last episode that he is AI. So that's why he understands the language. Didn't you say oh, last Sean episode? Is. Like, yeah, Sean, you, you said you were AI. Like, joke's on you. We're all AI. You don't yeah, even remember Sean oh, said. Huh? Oh, yeah. Like, I've never seen him in person, so I cannot confirm whether he's real. Well, I could tell true. you for sure he's real and he's handsome as fuck. Sean, oh, being okay. nice oh, again. Stop it. Hey, I was Your wife too doesn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh, can you put that That's video? That's scary. <laughs> No, sure. don't. Do it. Please, hey, you don't have my consent. Oh, I got the I got the maker's consent. Whoa, <laughs> That's all that matters. Disrespectful. That's disrespectful. <laughs> all right, Wikimaniacs, that is it for today's episode. Let us know if you got the AI one correct, like Sean. I'll I'll do it again some other time, but I think I waited long enough that it was I threw you guys off the scent. So Oh yeah, that was good. Uh let us know down in the U- uh, YouTube comments on Discord or our subreddit. If you want to hear more, please consider subscribing to the show and give us a rating and review on whatever platform you are on. Or you can subscribe to our patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network and sign up for bonus stories every Friday, including the one. You're not going to miss this this one. one. You're not going to want to miss this one. (laughs) Um, Some of you guys got to be on me and John's side, right? We're not crazy. I I don't think so. I'd imagine there'd be be a split. So uh, thank you, John and Sean, for your opinions, except for that story. <laughs> Fuck you, Josh. Even though y'all are wrong. <laughs> uh, and thank you, Wikimaniacs, for another amazing episode. We will see you on Monday. Bye. Sauce on these Love nuts, ya. Josh. <laughs> <laughs>